You are watching yet yeah, another episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans of 1977. It's Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday, and you know what those days mean. It's time for another AEW Event Center report for either Dynamite, Rampage, or Collision. And now, here is the host of the AEW Event Center Wrestling Report, New Bedford's version of Tony Schiavone, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lehman's Shenanigans in 1977, episode number 1831. Well, it is um, today, Saturday, of course, on November 23rd, 2024, 1.28 p.m., and we are at right now. Um, hey, we're going to be talking about AEW Rampage, and tonight is full gear. Now, we did this on Rant and Ray, but I want to do this here, but... But after we get over with the event, I will uh, give you my full gear picks and predictions when we get to it. All right? So, women's tag team action. Once again, Christmas came early because two of my favorite ladies are involved in this matchup. Mariah May, the AEW Women's World Champion, and my favorite lady from Japan, Mina Shirakawa, going up against the native beast Nyla Rose who acts like Samuel L. Jackson sometimes. But then you got my favorite lady from Australia, Miss Harley Cameron, uh, team, uh, joining forces in a tag team. So it'll be, it's Team Rose Gold, as they were known as in stardom. Mina Shirakawa and the AEW Women's World Champ, Mariah May, going up against Nyla Rose and Harley Cameron. This was a heck of a matchup to the point where Mina Shirakawa makes things fun. Makes wrestling matches fun. And they were doing... And Nyla Rose wanted to do her test of strength, but then, and she came on like this, and they're going like that, and, and they're going this, and they start dancing. Mariah May's dancing outside of the ring. Harley Cameron's down, dancing I'm like, okay, we got a match here. Let's go, and, you know. It's like, let me, let me put on my boom box, and then we, we can play Total Clips of the Heart by Nikki French or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, might I digress. Um, the team of Mina Shirakawa and... Mariah May ended up winning the matchup. As you know, tonight they'll be having their championship cham champagne celebration. Now, remember, you know, remember, and the, here's, the, here's the crazy part. Now, at Dynamite, because this was announced this past Wednesday, that Tony Storm decided to announce her retirement. Timeless Tony Storm. He says she's been losing in Japan and Mexico. You got Mariah May as a champion. You know, AEW does not need me. But then again, they, and on Dynamite, no mention of her at all. No mention of her doing this. Now, on Rampage, they did mention that Mariah May betrayed Timeless Tony Storm to win the title and everything else of our master plan. That was it. They didn't say anything about her retiring from the ring. So, I, like, again, I suspect some mind games are afoot in this situation. You know, does, as Mina Shirakawa um, planned this to... Um, to get back at Mariah May, or what? I don't know. What you know? What's uh, what's up? What's up? The um, what, who you know? Wh who's who's um? Does Mar uh does Mina Shirakawa got an ace up her sleeve? You know who's got the ace up the sleeve? Mariah or Mina? We don't know. Or as Tony Storm, the timeless one, playing mind games with Mariah all along, and using Mina as a buffer. I don't know about that. We'll find out tonight on on Rampage. Well, well you know, I think not Rampage, uh, Full Gear. What am I? Oh, my the Lord. What's going on, dude? I, when it comes to the holidays, my mind gets messed up, man. It's like, uh, what's going on, dude? I don't know. How you doing? Oh, by the way, my subscriber count's gone up. To now 354 subscribers. Those who recently subscribed, I don't know who subscribed me or what. Thank you so much for your support. Appreciate it wholeheartedly. And if you are commenting for the first time on my videos, like someone did the other day, I would say hi, welcome to my channel. If you like my content, please subscribe, have some fun with it, ring the bell notifications. It'd be really, really cool for you. Then there is the zero zero hour full um uh, full gear weigh in. That's why there's a zero hour matchup. There's two zero hour matches. I just found out. Um, 
I'll tell you about the other one when we get to the picks and predictions. And uh, Big Boom AJ and his son Big Justice. Now, these guys do, do videos, Costco, and Big Boom AJ used to be a wrestler back in the day. And um, you get Big Boom AJ and Big Justice with Big Justice in his corner going up against QT Marshall, or as I like to call him, QT Fire Marshall Bill. And so, anyways, um, so you got that. Um, oh, man. All right. So, um, um, so, so they had the weigh in, and uh, QT Marshall went first at 229 pounds. <laughs> and then Big Boom AJ went on the scale, and somebody must have rigged it, possibly QT Marshall. Went up with 550 pounds. Is, you know, and even Big Justice knew it. He said, we're going to get the Rizzler, whoever that is, uh, as the as the uh, professional guest timekeeper. And then Q and then both men about, about the brawl, and then QT Marshall hit him, hit him with a cutter, and then walking away. QT Marshall, what a jerk. And I, yeah, I call, that's why I call him QT Fire Marshall Bill. And the guy is just totally crazy. And Juice Robinson, the luckiest man alive, a.k.a. the Geico Caveman himself, a.k.a. Mr. Timeless Tony Storm, took on the Butcher. Robinson ended up winning the matchup. And then, and then Lexionaire interviewed, um, interviewed uh, Thunder Rosa as the um, Rampage next week will be all Lucha. This is out, issued open challenge to any Lucha Dora out there. And... <laughs> I'm telling you right now, let me tell you who showed up. Harley Graham. Uh, is claiming to be a female counterpart to Hologram. And I'm like, that's Harley Cameron. What is she doing? And even got, even I think she got Thunder Rose to the corpse a little bit. He's like, oh my god. Uh, and, uh, and then she's trying to talk like a robot and all. You didn't use the voice box. You could sound like Soundwave from Transformers there, Harley. And I think it's, it, she's a, every, you know, Harley, Harley Cameron, I'm telling you. This woman, watch out and watch out for her. Next year will be a breakout year. I'm telling you right now. Because, is the sun about to come out? Ugh, it's been raining all stinking day. Well, it me. Anyways, Harley Cameron, dude. This woman is so multi-talented. I say, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, thinking negatively, give the lady some time. She's been entertaining. She's talented. All you need now is her wrestling skills to be really, really up there. I mean, once it does, be on the lookout because I think she's going to really gonna improve. And next year, she's going to threaten for a title. So if I were whoever wins the TBS title tonight between Mercedes Monet and... Chris Statlander, I'll get a little bit more on that. Or, if Mariah May holds on to her AEW Women's World Champion, be on the lookout, because I think next year, Harley Cameron's going to go after one of those titles. Because Harley Cameron, the way she's been entertaining, and the way she's improved herself in the ring, mill me, me a matter of time, next year, she's going to go after a title. Which title? I don't know. If they decide to add the women's tag team titles to AEW... By all means, get her a partner like her and Soraya. They can go for those belts. Who knows what will happen? Uh, what will happen? Because with Harley Cameron, the sky's the limit for her. A lot of people will liken her to give her like Chelsea Green. What Chelsea Green doing on SmackDown? You know, I see Harley Cameron more like the female version of our truth. You know, but not you know, but because because they're hilarious and entertaining and talented, and their wrestling skills are great. And that's probably the most important thing ever. Get your wrestling skills up to par. I think you're going to be a threat to any championship. And Harley Cameron, the way she's been going right now, I think by the time, this time, next year, she'll be having a championship around her waist. That's why I'm predicting. I'm calling it right now. You know, I like Timeless Tony Storm, but like I said, Harley Cameron is getting up there. You know, this year was the year of Timeless Tony Storm. 
until she lost the title to Mariah May, but Timeless Tony Storm has been doing a great job with her character. But like I said, Harley Cameron is following suit, so, so to speak, R- uh, ratcheting, uh, not ratcheting, um, you know, uh, bringing up her, her character, you know, really cranking it up to the match, uh, to the max, to the match, to the max, you know, with the characters and everything else. That you know, so she has decided. Harley Graham has decided to um, accept the challenge, and then Thunder Rosa goes, "Fine, I'll kick your butt again." Basically, Ricochet was addressing Kanosuke Takeshita, the international champion, and he wants that title really badly. And then the main event, the conglomeration, Mark Briscoe, Tomohiro Ishii, and Rocky Romero facing the team of the Dark Order. Evil Uno, Alex Reynolds, and my favorite, all-time favorite member of the Dark Order, Johnny Hungy. Johnny Hungy himself. John Silver. That's right. The funniest member of Dark Order. I don't care what anybody else says. I like John. I like Johnny Hungy. He's funny. He's a very entertaining dude. Gotta love him, right? And the most hilarious part is, and him and Mark Briscoe doing a wah! And the Evil Uno broke it up. Come on, Evil Uno. That was funny. Those two were entertaining. Come on! If I was if I was in the ring with John Silver, I'd do a little, you know, being a little entertaining. And you know, you you touch me, I'm taking that mask off and making you eat it. That's what I would say. Yeah. Don't even think about touching me, Evil Uno. If you do, I'm taking out that mask and I'm going to make you eat it, eat it for breakfast, <laughs> and make you crap it out. <laughs> uh, that's what I would have said. I want to entertain my boy here. I like John Silver. So, if John Silver, you're watching this. I say hi. What's up, dude? <laughs> You're the man. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're funny. Ah, thank you. But the conglomeration ended up winning the matchup in in that trio's matchup. Now, let's go for the AEW picks and predictions for full gear. Um, I did this um, on Rant and Rave. If you watched it a couple of days ago. Um, now, as you know, there are two zero-hour matches. One of them, uh, Deanna Perrazzo will go one-on-one with Anna J. And I think... They're trying to recruit Anna J for the uh, Vendetta stable that was, it was started by her and Taya Valkyrie. Now, I want to predict that Taya Valkyrie is going to get involved in the matchup, but Deanna Perrazzo is going to beat Anna J. Now, Big Boom AJ with Big Justice in his corner going against QT Marshall. I'm going to pick QT. I picked QT Marshall with the advantage and experience. MJF versus Roderick Strong. One on one, I'm picking MJF because I know he's going to use that stupid ring of his. Unless uh, Mike Bennett and Matt Taven can um, run in a fair to make sure he does not use that ring. I'm hoping Roderick Strong wins this one. The what? Because well, this promo against Roderick Strong, man, reprehensible. With that, um, I wish your father, I wish, I wish your mom shot you instead. Line that's disrespectful. I'm hoping Roderick Strong beats him, but MJF is going to use that stupid ring of his. To win the match. Uh, Jay White versus Hangman Adam Page. Switchblade. I pick Switchblade over the Hangman. Tag T Tiles in a Fatal 4-Way. Private Party versus the Outrunners. Um, the House of Blacks. King of the Blacks. Kings of the Black Throne. Brody King and Alistair Black. And the Acclaimed. I pick Private Party. Who are the defending champs. To retain their titles. TBS title. Mercedes Monet. Well, I know Camille will be in. In her corner against Chris Statlander, I picked Chris Statlander to be a two-time champ. Swerve Strickland versus Bobby Lashley one-on-one. I picked Lashley to win that one. Uh, Jack Perry, uh, Jungle, uh, uh, Scapegoat Jack Perry going up against Daniel Garcia. TNT title line, Perry's the defending champ, but we're going to have a new one. I'm thinking Daniel Garcia, it's his time. He's he's due to a championship around his waist, and I think Daniel Garcia is going to win it. Will Ospreay going one on one with Kyle Fletcher? I picked Ospreay to win that matchup, and John Moxley defending the AEW World Title against Orange Cassidy. I picked Moxley to retain because I know the Death Riders will be running around the ring trying to run interference and do all that crazy stuff. And then I'm sure Maria Shafir will probably whack Cassidy in the head with a briefcase with the belt in it, and the title will remain around Moxley's waist. Waste. Well, we'll see tonight. On full, on full gear. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Next up, Car Sharks Money Cards. We're going to have fun with that. Thank you for tuning um, into the show. And until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, take us home. 
That is all for today's episode. This is your announcer speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E door for Bob Saget Productions and in association with a Raven Bow for Telepictures and Distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode. Tune in next time for another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Goodbye for now.